guys welcome back with another very interesting tutorial of matlab uh, simulink and today we are going to see how you can implement if else condition in simulink so when we think about if else condition that basically means that you want to select one variable based upon some condition so, so you test that condition and then you select the variable according to that condition so how it looks is let's say you have two variable let's say a is equal to 20 uh, a is equal to 10 and then b is equal to 20 and you want to select these two variables based upon the value of another variable say x so x is not known here uh, but at some point of time in your algorithm your um, your value x is being defined and then you want to select a and b based upon that x value um, so what happens is that you can say that if x is less than or equal to 1 you can select a or otherwise or you can say else select b and then end so this is kind of a condition that you want to implement in simulink how you can do that so think of it in blocks so you'll have one block here let's say this is the block and in this block you will have a decision or you will have a condition based upon which the decision is made so you can say condition so you will define condition in this block so this is kind of a conditional block and in simulink we call it a switch block um, and then there are some inputs coming in so input one and there is another input these are basically the variables that we want to define based upon the condition so let's say we want to say input one is a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 okay and now there is another variable that is x so based upon which this selection between a and b to go through is made so let's say this variable is x and its value is defined in algorithm somewhere and let's say if it is greater than one so i say x is uh, or i'll highlight this with the blue color this condition if this condition is correct then this will go through okay and the output is a is equal to 10. if this is correct i will highlight it with the green color if this is correct then this condition will go through and you will see b is equal to 20. okay so that is how if else condition works so first i will implement this in matlab and then uh, we'll see how we can create these blocks in simulink and how we can uh, get this kind of answers i'll also show you how you can have more than three variables as an input uh, so let's say if you want to select between a b and c based upon the condition how you can do that as well okay now so now let's implement this on matlab so we have created three variables here um, a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 and c is equal to 30 so we'll define this x condition and based upon the condition that we have defined on x, x this value would and the output value would be displayed so if x is greater than 2 um, then uh, output would be c if it is greater than 2 but uh, greater than 1 and less than 2 then the output would be b and otherwise the output would be a so currently what i have defined is 2.5 so that means it should take output is equal to c which is 30 and when we run it we'll see it's 30. Now let's define it uh, equal to 1.5 and you will see that the output is B and if we define it equal to 0 0.5 then the output should be A and if we run it you will see the output is A which is 10. Uh, we can do similar thing in the or same thing in uh, simulate. So I have opened up this clean canvas now you can bring in your own constants and um, let's say constant and you can bring it here and then you want to bring switch block so I can search for switch and then you can see it will be here you can bring that in and then I need a display so you can bring it here on screen or you can bring it from canvas so this time I'm bringing it from this um, canvas here so can say display here this one and you can connect to the output so this switch block is basically like an if else condition um, so I'm just operating more constant so we had three constants remember this is a this is B and this is 
c and this is the decision variable x so this decision variable will go here and will be connected here um, and then we know that when this condition is correct and we have to select condition here so let's say uh, the first condition is we want greater than equal to 2 you can select the condition here it is you have different conditions like the variable greater than threshold or variable greater than equal to threshold or variable is not equal to zero so currently we are going to select this one uh, greater than or equal to threshold and we'll select ok now if this x is greater than or equal to 2.5 what we need to select we need to select c so whatever we want to select should come here because this would be the output of this block then and if this is not the case if x is not greater than 2 then this would be the output now on this output we we need that we know that we need another condition because we have two variables left so what i can do is i can bring in another switch here and connect the output of this switch to this block so here now if this condition is not satisfied now, then the output of this block would be the output of this block here and then that would be the result displayed and condition that we want to select here is that if x is um, greater than one that is another condition and you want to get give the same input because we have defined the same variable and if it is greater than one then output should be b that's what we have decided in the matlab script as well and if this is not the case and that means if it is less than one then the output should be a um, so let's define some values uh, here uh, currently x is equal to 0.5 um, I can redefine it here and you will see this is the value x is equal to 0 0.5 and now if I run this one it should be a which is 10 you can see so this or this was wrong so this condition went through and from this condition this was wrong so output was not b but output was a now if I select x is equal to let's say x is equal to 1.5 now in this case still this condition is false so output should be from this block and now this condition is false so uh, this condition is true x is greater than one uh, one so b should be the output so when i run this you'll see x is equal to 20 uh, sorry uh, the output is equal to 20. now the third case when you have x is greater than 1.2 uh, so greater than 2 that means that select any value 2.5 so when I run this, you will see x is assigned 2.5 and when I hit run, you will see x equal to uh, output is equal to 30 here. So that is how you can define um, different variables and uh, different if else conditions in the simulink. And if you have more than these variables, then you have to create several other switches or there are some other ways to do that. Um, but this is the easiest way for beginners to understand that each block represents each if condition uh, if that is not correct give another input and make another if condition there uh, so i hope this video will help you out in case if you have any questions please drop um, write that write them down in the comments below and i will try to answer them as soon as possible uh, if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel and like the video um, so we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye